Yeah, hi everyone, Jeff Prentice. Uh, what I want to do in the next few minutes is create an original texture from my own photographs uh, that you can use in maybe a, a design fundamentals course, such as the one I'm teaching. Um, and uh, we're gonna, you know, use some basic Photoshop commands. It's it's a good technique to to learn. Uh, it incorporates just the, the same basic commands over and over, which is you know copy, resize, flip, transform, copy, paste, flatten, adjust opacity, repeat. So let's let's jump into that. I had done this previously, um, and I nuked the tutorial. Here's a really nice one done by a student. Now this was done using the filters and doing the different tools and the different layer uh, adjustment. Um, tools in Photoshop uh, really came out nice. Uh, a lot of times when people just rely upon the filters in Photoshop, they end up looking um, too filtery. Okay, so what I have experimented with and try to get people to use is my own technique. Uh, this is actually uh, what I did before. I took this photograph and turned it into this texture. So what I'd like to do is show you the technique for doing that. Now, um, I've got a couple of images here that'd be really, I think, good for a, a texture. What you don't want to do uh, for this assignment to create a texture is just take something like this, cut it out, paste it a couple times, and say, here's my beehive, my wasp nest texture. That's not going to cut it. You want to check your image size. Uh, I would suggest probably resizing these back down to uh, about the same size as um, the canvas that you're going to be working on. We're not going to do the uh, scan high drag low technique that I've talked about before on this one. I think I'm going to stick with this same image. Now the first thing we need then is file new and you know instead of 1024 768 I'm going to use 600 800 just to keep it a little smaller and um, what I want to do is I want to come over here with my magic wand and I want to select some background there and I want to do a select similar okay and then I'm going to do a select inverse and I'm going to do a copy and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste it in now you can see there's a whole bunch of junk that came along with that that I don't necessarily need and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of that And I'm going to take this little guy over. Oh, there's all kinds of junk associated with this. Um, <clears throat> the easiest thing for me to do, uh, I'm just selecting it and covering it with white. And uh, now, let's see here. So well, I think what I'm going to do in this case is flatten it. And that'll get rid of all that junk from floating around. And I'm going to select the white background and then do a select inverse which on my keyboard is just command shift i and i'm going to uh, resize this down a little bit i could clean it up as well all right i'm going to desaturate it since we can only work in black and white and i'm also going to adjust the um the levels on this i think there's some some detail in there that might be kind of nice to look at So let's go with that. Now I'm going to cut that. I'm going to do um, <clears throat> Control X, select all, Control A, delete. You know, everything on there. Well, I'll just fill it with white and I'm going to paste my little guy back in. Now it's got some funny little things on it, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Now watch, I'm going to put it in the corner, move tool selected, hold down my option key, and I'm ready to just move with my, or copy with my cursor. You see that? Copy, copy, copy. Okay, should I copy again? Well, no, I'm going to undo that. Now I'm going to shift click through my uh, layers in my layer window, and I'm going to merge those layers. Okay? so that I can then copy okay I might want to um, 
resize these down a little bit. I'm holding down my shift key, okay? You'll notice um, to keep these in proportion. Otherwise, I'm gonna get, I hate the stretchy look, okay? So I'm gonna hold down my shift key and I'm gonna uh, resize these so they fit a little bit better. And uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do something like this. I'll already start thinking about getting rid of some of that. I'm going to shift click through <clears throat> merge layers move tool you'll notice how I am using the same commands over and over move tool flatten merge this is already starting to, to look like a fairly interesting texture all right I am going to shift click through all this right click merge layers select all Control T, holding down my shift key, <clears throat> I'm resizing it. You see how the little arrows there turn into uh, little rounded uh, rotate arrows. <clears throat> I'm going to rotate this. Okay, I'm going to hit return. Hit my move tool by hitting V on my keyboard. Pull down my option key. Oh, I got some little artifacts in there I'm not sure where those came from all right so let's let's clean that up a little bit sometimes <clears throat> it helps to flatten things you know get rid of some of those artifacts and what I might be doing what I might do here is uh, I'm thinking about flattening the entire thing just to get rid of any junk all right now I'm gonna hit select the white in the background do a select invert command shift I <clears throat> I am going to resize this down again. Okay. And you'll find that, uh, and I can resize it up since it's still selected. Uh, you'll find that um, depending on the, the, the kind of element that you use, uh, these things will come out looking a lot differently. All right. So there's... Um, the start of one. Now, here's what I'd like to do at this point. I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy it. Command C or Apple C. Paste it onto itself and do an edit, transform, flip horizontal. Okay, you can see there's two layers over here. Now I'm going to hit six on the keyboard, which is going to create a 60% opacity. Okay, and then I'm going to hit V on my keyboard and I'm going to move it around just to see what I can kind of come up with. Nothing, I don't see anything that looks as cool as what I had before yet. All right, but I'm not done. Um, now, I'm going to hit my levels. Bump my levels up a little bit. Okay, and I am going to um, shift click through here flatten the image, select a big chunk, cut it out, select all, delete. Well, obviously it didn't work. Um, one thing that I might want to do right away here is use my healing brush to get rid of these straight lines because we want this to look like a tactile texture. It shouldn't look too digital. It should look as organic as possible. Okay, so I'm going to go around with my healing brush, take, a, take get rid of any of that. It's still looking very, um, it still looks a little bit too close to what I had before. So I'm gonna do one more iteration of copy, All right, and now watch, I'm going to flip that image. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. Okay, so we've got something like that. Shift click through. You see how I'm doing the same commands over and over and over again. Now, um, this is getting there. I might do a, a copy and then an edit, transform. Maybe I'll flip vertical this time and place it right on top change my opacity i'm going to invert it by hitting apple i sometimes that 
helps. And with that inverted, I'm going to change the opacity to like 20%. All right. And then I'm going to hit my levels. Control L. You notice I'm using the same commands. Control L. Control U. Copy, paste, flip. Hit V for the move tool. I don't know. How's that looking? Interesting. You know, I like my previous texture better, but sometimes you just got to take what the world hands you. Now, what this is looking like to me is a tactile texture, <clears throat> somewhat man-made though. Kind of has that bumpy, um, you know, synthetic manufactured look to it. So I think in this case, I'm going to call it done. Now, what I want to do is I want to go over here and I am going to, you know what? I'm going to select this guy. I'm going to copy him. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to move this up. Well, hold on first. I've got to shift click through and merge those layers. I'm going to move them up. I'm going to paste my little photograph in. And I'm going to put them way down here in the corner as a resource for the viewer. So I can say from this photograph, I made this texture. Now the last thing I need to do is label this. Uh, and I'm going to call this texture from photo. Jeff Prentice 2000. 2012. Hit the move tool. Using my arrow keys with the shift key held down to move them along in bigger incre increments, I'm going to I'm going to match this margin. You see this margin between this little icon and this? I'm going to do the same margin here. And the last thing I want to do is do a file save for web and devices, high quality JPEG, okay, and post this then as my assignment.